Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you track financial status, uh, which means uh, actual cost for your projects. For that, I will use Power Apps project and I will go to my projects. I can see all my projects and uh, I will use particular project, ERP projects. I will double click on it and I will go to Financial tab. I can see that I have Budget three millions, forecast is two uh, million and eight hundred thousand. Benefits are six millions. Return of investment is one which was calculated, and all of those are uh, uh, explained in my video where uh, where I explain how to create projects using uh, Power Apps. For this purpose, I will go here and I will say that my actual cost in is one million two uh, two hundred thousand. And I will save it. When I save it, I will see that my remaining budget is calculated. It is three million minus uh, one million two hundred thousand, which is uh, uh, one million eight hundred. And I can see budget variance, which is two uh, uh, two uh, hundred thousands of local currencies kunas. My budget variance remains the same, which is three millions of budget minus the two million eight hundred thousand, uh, which is forecast, and that's it. That's all what you can do here in actual costs. So you don't have ability to look at the cost for specific tasks. So if I go here in project tasks. I can see all those uh, projects like uh, all those tasks like in uh, project for the web, but I don't have any possibilities. I should wait a little. I don't have any possibilities for uh, for as you can see for uh, putting actual cost in uh, uh, in any field. So for financials in project, when you use project for the web, you have only one possibilities. Uh, possibility and that is to put the actual cost for the whole project. How will you get that figure? It's up to you. Okay, in my next video, I will show you how can you track the costs and financials for the whole project uh, program uh, for the projects will belong to specific program. Until then, uh, that uh, uh, have a nice day.